Hey there and welcome back to another Ops Collective tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the custom fields power up in Trello. The custom fields power up is a really neat feature in Trello that will allow you to customize your Trello cards, well the information contained on your Trello card, to your business's unique needs. So here's just one example of a card that has custom fields set up on it. So on this card called Setup Email Newsletter in MailChimp, um, you'll notice there's some additional fields that aren't on the other cards on the board. And that's because this has been set up using the custom fields. So one of those fields is a client type, a job type, and a review due date. So if you click into that card, you can see those custom fields under the custom fields header area. So these were already set up to show you how you can use this feature to provide additional level of information on your card. Under the custom field section, I created a custom field called client type. So if you were to select it, you'll notice that there are a couple drop down options that I previously created. So for this client type, if the person's a blogger or a musician or an accountant or a consultant, someone on our team will select one of these options in the drop down. So in terms of the job type, um, sometimes it's good to know whether or not a job needs to be a rush job, uh, whether it needs to be done within 24 hours, or if it's just a normal um, job. So in this case, for job type, we have those options here as well. So if I'm aware that a job is going to take 24 hours, needs to be uh, sent over to the client within 24 hours, I'll select that option. Uh, rush jobs are anything from th between a day to three days. So that's another option there, depending on your own business's unique needs. Um, so the, for the review date, you'll notice that with Trello, you have only one due date option there, right? So you might have other due dates that you need to keep track of for a particular task. So using the custom fields will allow you to cr add additional due dates onto a card. So in this case, before a newsletter, a newsletter can even be set up in MailChimp, um, someone on our team would need to review that copy. So that's why we have this additional due date called review due date. And a member could just select the due date box and select the date. All right. So that's an example of how you can use custom fields within your own business. So let's jump over to another board to actually set this up because another uh, thing you should know about this power up is that Trello only allows you to use one power up per board on the free version. So use your power ups wisely. So let's just jump over to the other board to set this up. Okay. So on the customer job request board, we're going to be setting up a client type custom field like was, that was shown on the other board. So I'm just going to set that up um, on the Dipsado setup John Dope card here. And in order to do that, go over to the power ups option and hit get power ups. If you're not within a card, you can always set up your power ups as well by going over to show menu and then select power ups from there. So once you've done that, just type in the word custom and that will not only be your first option in the power up search field. So once that pops up, just hit add. And now that power up has been added to your board. So you just want to X out of this window here, go back to that card and set up that custom field. So if we go over here to the right, you'll notice now that we have custom fields under the power ups option. So to set one up, all you have to do is hit the custom fields and then hit new field. So under the type, you actually have a few choices on what type of custom field you can set up. So those choices are, you can either do a checkbox, a date, drop down, number, or text field. So in this example, we're going to be doing a drop down. So I'll just select drop down, and the name of this drop down that will appear on the front of the card will be um, the client type. So this will tell our team members whether or not somebody is a blogger, a physician, an accountant. Basically, it'll let everybody know what 
niche that person serves or what type of service that uh, client provides. So to add those um, options that I just mentioned, all you have to do is start typing it in one by one in the options area. So the first one I'll type is accountant and then hit enter. And then for the second option, I'll put blogger and then hit enter. And then for the third option, let's say um, do, 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 musician, then hit enter. And for the last one, we could put investor. Okay, and then hit enter. So once you have added all the options that you want in the drop down, just hit create. And now you notice that client type, that custom field I just created, now appears on the cart. So if you want to see the drop down options, all you have to do is hit select. And now it will show you the options that were set up in that drop down. Pretty cool, eh? So if you ever want to edit this though, all you have to do is go back to custom fields and then select that drop down you just created and do your edits as you would like. So if you want to take out accountant, you can just hit the trash bin, hit delete option, and now that option will be gone from your drop down. Or if you want to add a different uh, name, you can always go back to custom fields, go back to client type, and then add the other option you would like. So maybe I want to put farmer in there. And then if we come back out, we'll see farmer has been added. So that's how you can set up a custom field on your Trello board. So if I come out of here, I also wanted to show you, so let's pick farmer. You can see every time someone selects an option in that custom field, it will show on the face of the card. That's another pretty cool thing. So you don't actually have to click into the card to see what the client type is. So there you have it. That's custom fields in a nutshell. Feel free to play around with this really cool feature in Trello. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below um, or subscribe to our email list if you want to receive future Trello tutorials. Thank you for tuning in and have a great one. Bye.